Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you some apartments in downtown Hartford. If you have a budget of around $1,500, this is what you can get. Um, it does vary a little bit. Some of them are a little under $1,500, some are a little bit over, but that's about the average for these apartments that I'm going to be showing. So just like any major city, the further away you go from the downtown area, it gets a little bit cheaper. And then as you get closer to downtown and then in downtown, it's a lot more expensive. That's where you find like the big um, high rise buildings, the luxury apartments. It's just, it costs a lot more to live in the downtown area in general. So if you're thinking of moving to the area, you're just curious or you just want to see what these apartments look like on the inside. I know I'm definitely curious because driving around, I see this these buildings all the time and I, I want to know what they look like on the inside also too hopefully in a few months I'll be able to I've been saving up and working on a lot of things in my life so I can afford my own place again uh, these might be a little bit out of my price range but we'll see we'll, we'll see what happens but for whatever reason you guys clicked on this video hopefully you find this interesting and so the first apartment building that I'm gonna go into it's a loft style building it's industrial kind of like the old place that I lived in a little bit different it looks really nice on the inside it's actually pretty new they built this just a few years ago it was some old factory and they converted it um, but I've heard really good things about it so I'm definitely excited to take a look so the first apartment was more industrial loft style had a really pretty entrance it had a huge common area clubhouse it's a space where you can hang out you can rent it out and host parties and events this particular one was really big and really nice just like a lot of apartment buildings it did have a fitness center this one was pretty big pretty standard so the unit that she showed me is a one bedroom uh, these are great because they have washer and dryer in the apartment which is very convenient lots of closet space as you guys will see in a couple seconds So the way this is set up, which I kind of don't like, um, this is the bedroom, but the way the apartment is set up, there's no window, so that's why they have the that kind of hole at the top. I just, I need windows. <laughs> I need natural light. You know, you do get light in there, but it's just, it's not my favorite layout, but if I was to go with this building, I would need a studio anyway, so that's okay. Really nice bathroom, very modern, very up to date nice fixtures I do wish it had a bathtub but it's okay it's not a small stand-up shower but it is a stand-up shower so that's kind of that's kind of a con so the main area of this apartment is really nice very open super high ceilings the kitchen was gorgeous lots of counter space I really like that you can put some stools there tons of room to cook and lay some food out and this would be the living room you can put some a sofa TV you know standard living room stuff okay so the next apartment building that I went to this is their fitness center also pretty standard this was so cute they actually have a dog shower room it's like a bathroom for your dogs very pet friendly obviously but I thought that was adorable so I looked at a one bedroom first. The kitchen was huge. I really like the backsplash. I'm not crazy about white cabinets, but it's nice. Like it, it, it comes together. It looks nice with the dark floors. This one has a big window. It's not an industrial loft like the other one, but this one does have big windows, so that's nice. So they must have known that I was coming to look because this one bedroom also does not have a window, but it's not like the loft where the bedroom is in the back of the apartment. Like this where it is, there could be a window. It's just the way they built the building. There's no there's no window. I, I really don't like that. But again, if I was to get an apartment in this building, I would also need a studio here. It's just it's not in my budget. This one also had a lot of closets, which is nice. It was funny, all the doors were closed. I didn't know which one was the bathroom. So, again, it's a nice bathroom. Very modern. I like the shower. I like tile in showers. So, that was really pretty. I like that there's a light in the shower. 
I don't like it when the only bathroom is attached to the bedroom. If it's a, a case where there's more than one bathroom in the apartment, that's fine. You know, then you have the master. Okay, bathroom. and she also showed me a studio in the same building. So the fixtures and everything are going to look the same. It's just a little bit smaller because it's a studio. So same shower. Overall, really nice. Nice and open and spacious. So the kitchen, it's big, but it's just a tad smaller than the other one to make more room since it is a studio and you don't have a bedroom. It's just good to have that space. Again, the big window. I thought this was really great. There's a rooftop patio, which the view is gorgeous. And this particular day, the weather was great. So it's got a nice view of downtown. Okay, so this is the third apartment building. I believe this is the studio. I like that this one has dark cabinets in the kitchen, but it's it's similar to the other one. It is run by the same management company. So this one, so that's like the little nook. Since it's a studio, that's like a little bed nook. I like that it has that. The other building didn't have that in the studio. And this closet is huge. It's a walk-in closet. I did not see that coming. That's really great, especially in a studio. It's just good to have that extra space. You could almost stake a desk in there or something. So I like the setup of this one. I always like when studios have a little space to put your bed, just so it, it feels it feels a little less like a studio, you know? This bathroom is also very nice. It's got tile. It's just white instead of the gray that the other one had. And again, washer dryer. I think if you're going to pay that much for rent, there should be a, a washer dryer in the apartment. It just it just makes sense, but very convenient. And the machines are nice, too. They're up to date. And this is another rooftop patio, this building. Just like the other one, it's got a little hangout area. This one has some shade, the way they designed it, which is nice. It's a TV. Okay, this is the one bedroom. So this is their model unit, which is why the walls are painted. But this building, they said they do let you paint. So if you're into painting and really customizing and making your apartment feel more homey, this is nice. Uh, it does have a little patio. That's an added bonus. So you have the rooftop one and then you have your own. Again, because it's a one bedroom, it's a little over my budget i believe this one was 1500 actually 15 something so not too bad but me personally i would probably have to stick with the studio washer dryer bathroom bedroom i don't like carpet personally personal preference i just i really don't care for carpet so i was a little disappointed when i walked in here and saw carpet but again this is not an apartment that i'm going to be getting so that's okay. I know some people do like carpet, especially in the bedroom. I, I'm just, I prefer hardwood. I think it's easier to maintain, easier to clean. But this, the hardwood floors that are in the common area, very, very nice floor. Everything is new. This building just opened. Like, it's brand new. The other one, the other two are pretty new too, but this one literally just opened. So everything is new and fresh. You can smell it when you walk in. You smell like that new new house smell. So those are the three apartments that I looked at. Um, two of them I didn't know. They're actually run, they're owned by the same company and they're managed by the same company. So there were a lot of similarities. And um, those two buildings I actually looked at, studios and one bedroom. So obviously there's a price difference. The studios are a lot cheaper and the one bedrooms are a little bit more expensive but it all depends on what you're looking for everything was pretty much in the $1,500 range um, a lot of the studios actually were under they were like 12 1300 and then the one bedrooms went up to 15 um, the first one was actually 1600 so the first building I actually wanted to look at a studio but she doesn't have any available right now so I looked at what they had they had a one bedroom um, that one was a little over 1600 but their studios do run in the $1,400 range, which is why I chose that building. So with these types of buildings, you know, with the price tag, it's not just the apartment you're paying for. You're paying for the amenities. You know, usually they have like a clubhouse, a fitness center, which uh, I don't know if I would always use those. I know in the past places that I've lived, I, 
I, I didn't use them too much. Um, but something I did like, the, the second two apartment buildings that I looked at, they had a, a rooftop patio. That was really nice. And these are downtown, so the view is great. You know, I'm sure when the weather's nice, especially at night, that's really nice. It's a nice feature. But with these type of buildings, you know, you're paying for a lot. They're usually secure. It's key access. There's security. There's maintenance on site. So there is a lot that comes with it. They're usually very nice. These three that I looked at, they were great. They're beautiful. Um, pretty on the newer side. The buildings are usually very clean. Everything's up to date. They stay on top of everything. And people are very friendly. You know, the leasing office, they were great. So if I were to choose one out of the three, I would probably go with the first building if they had a studio available. I'm a big fan of loft industrial style buildings i just think they're so beautiful i love the big windows i just for me windows are important i like big windows i like natural light so that's that's definitely something even from the outside of the building i'm going to be looking at but if i was to pick i would probably go with number one anyway i hope this helped you guys out i hope you found it interesting um, if you are looking for something in this price range or you're just curious this is what an average budget of $1,500 will get you in Hartford in the downtown area. Um, of course, if you go out, you put go away from the city, it does get cheaper. There are nice apartments that are a little more inexpensive. So if you're looking to spend a little bit less, you still can find some stuff. I chose this price range because for people who are looking to move to cities, especially like they want to be in the city area or really close, that seems to be the average price range. Uh, sometimes it's more, it depends on what city. Hartford is a little bit smaller, so that is that is the average here. But if you are looking for an apartment, good luck. I wish you the best. I hope it is easy and painless because sometimes it can be a little stressful, especially when you have a lot of options and everything or you just have certain needs that need to be met. Oh, that was the thing too. These buildings were very pet friendly. So if you're a pet person, in my experience, a lot of these, they're okay with animals. I haven't seen too many that are like, no, no animals. But these very, very pet friendly. I thought the, um, the dog wash was so cute in the second building that I looked at. It was adorable. But anyway, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys out and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.